Lester has a long history of uh, understanding not only space itself, you know, the, the magnetic field around the Earth, uh, how to successfully put an experiment up there, the physics and the engineering involved, but more importantly, what benefits come back to Earth from it? You know, what what's the point of it? And what they do so beautifully with the students there is uh, take advantage of the high ground of space and the technology that they put into space to then directly feed back on looking at weather systems, looking at, uh, they've got thermal imaging systems that are watching changes to not only the oceans, but to uh, the UK itself, to when there's a heat wave, to see how the weather patterns in the heat generation patterns change around the world. They're looking at uh, different ways to visualize the world so that people can better see uh, the changes that we're, we're wreaking on the surface. So I think uh, that combination of building the enabling technologies and the minds that can make the enabling technologies, which is what you do at university, but then also using that information for uh, science, for chemistry, for atmospheric physics, but also for outreach. Uh, the university is really active in outreach with Space Camp and with going and speaking in local schools and some, some great tools of visualizing the Northern Lights, for example. They have a, a great tool there for showing why the Northern Lights exist, uh, showing how we exist with a star, a planet and a star that is the sun and the earth. So it's, uh, it's a really impressive school and an impressive program. And I think the, uh, the long history and the results of the students end up speaking for themselves.